Coutinho to Arsenal happening this weekend probably welcome to the Rokani football podcast how are you guys and where are you watching from this is our first story of the day you know here in Africa in my country have been power is a real problem power is a real problem we would have already done this story already shared it up but we really had no power to do it and our studio was down in there but thank god our studio is back and you're ready to rumble in here onto the rokani football podcast smash the like button comment and share and this is the channel that brings you each and every news from each and every sports team in there around the world even the afcon you're really going to bring you afcon in here we are really going to bring you African sports in there, South American sport, and very many other stories that you guys are really interested in here to view at Rokani Football Podcast. Now, the big story that is into the news today, Coutinho is expected to join a Premier League club come this weekend. This is the news that Sky Sports have really come out and reported about Coutinho, that Arsenal player, sorry, that former Liverpool player who is a Dali wanted by a side which goes by the names of Arsenal in there for you. Aston Villa wants his signature. Tottenham wants his signature. Aston Villa wants his signature. And Newcastle wants his signature. Those are the five teams that Coutinho is expected to be heading to this weekend in here. And this news really came out and reported by the Sky Sports reporter in there who goes by names of Rob Rob Dossett in there for you. He's a Sky Sports News reporter coming out and saying that Arsenal, Tottenham, and Newcastle are reportedly also interested in signing Felipe Coutinho in there. But news has broken in there that Coutinho is going to be in the Premier League or in London or in United Kingdom come this weekend in there. So that is the story about Coutinho. And Arsenal is at the forefront of really signing in Coutinho because Arsenal are having a player that that Barcelona is looking at and that player goes by the names of Peric Merrick Aubameyang in there for you plus Lacazette those two players are being scouted by Xavi in there because Xavi looks like his side is inexperienced in there and he looks like he needs to get in a man who has done it before especially when it comes to scoring in goals because Luke De Jong is good Morata is not coming because because Juventus Algeri is called who the manager of the manager of Juventus has really come out and said that I talked to Alvaro Morata and Alvaro de Morata is staying. I told him I really want you to stay in here, but we can not let you go to Barcelona in January in there because we are in the Champions League. We are into the top four race in the Serie A, we are not, though we are really far away from winning the trophy. But Allegri has really come out and said Alvaro Monalra is going nowhere. And when you look at the ladder of Xavi, Xavi really needs a centre forward. And the available centre forward who has been thrown under the bus is Pierrick Merrick Aubameyang. And Pierrick Merrick Aubameyang is not at Arsenal. He's already with Gabon. He's going to play in the African Cup of Nations. And you never know, a deal might be done. He might fly through to Barcelona. He makes um, he gets his medical done. And then Coutinho can come in this side in here. I know things are really working on well because Arsenal is keen. He's watching this keenly in there. And they really want to get in Felipe Coutinho at Arsenal. What does Felipe Coutinho bring in at Arsenal? And why does Ateta want in Felipe Coutinho? One, he brings in experience. Two, he brings in what Arsenal is lacking because when you look at the central attack midfield of Arsenal in there, the only players they have, they don't have players who can sit down players. The only player they have in the name of Odegaard can only see out that pass in there, you get? But Coutinho comes in with lots of things. He has a hard shot. He can shoot from far. He's a free kick scorer. He's a good set piece taker, you get? He has quite a better Premier League experience. When you look at all those players playing at Arsenal, no one, no one has an experience. No one has an experience like Coutinho has. Not Ramsdale, because Coutinho was in the Premier League when Stephen Gerrard was still playing for a team which goes by names of Liverpool. So Stephen Gerrard retired in 2016, I remember. Was it 2016, 2015? So that is Stephen Gerrard in there for you. So that means Coutinho, Liverpool bought in from Inter Milan, I think in 2015, 2016. Now he left in, I think was it after the World Cup? So he has a lot of experience in the Premier League. Three years away from the Premier League, I think he is really that man that can really come up and boost up Arsenal in there. In the battle where Arsenal is, they need players with a mentality of Coutinho in there who are really going to come and say, we can really make this. We can really get back to Champions Football because what Arsenal is fighting for right about now, it's Champions League Football. Let no one lie to you. Arsenal is fighting for Champions League Football in there and they really want to get back into there. And by the way, 
Arsenal is fighting a lot to get back in the Champions League football because they've missed out on very many players because they're not playing in the Champions League. Locatelli, if Arsenal are playing in the Champions League, they would have gotten Locatelli. Arsenal, Renato Sanchez would have already reported that Arsenal, if at all Arsenal, was playing in the Champions League. Mm, Dusan Volhovic would have already reported that Arsenal, if at all Arsenal, was in the Champions League. You get Champions League attracts very many players in there. So Arsenal is is keenly observing the Coutinho move and it's said that Arsenal might be one of those five teams that are really going to be unveiling Coutinho over the weekend. Those five teams include Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur, Newcastle, Aston Villa and which other team in there? There is another team that is really looking at Coutinho. In there. there are five Premier League teams that are really looking keenly at Coutinho in there. Liverpool have really come and said, no, we are not looking in at Coutinho. We are looking at different players altogether. So we wait and see what really happens between Coutinho, Barcelona and Arsenal in there because Arsenal look like they want this to happen. And guess what? Barcelona has what Arsenal wants and Arsenal has what Barcelona wants. What Arsenal has that Barcelona wants is Aubameyang, and what Barcelona has that Arsenal wants is Felipe Coutinho, and Anvers team has already been sent in Barcelona to talk to Coutinho and confess him that Arsenal is really going to be the right team to come in. But can Arsenal pay the wages of Felipe Coutinho because Felipe Coutinho will come in and really ask for close to £200,000 a week in there. Remember, Felipe Coutinho was bought from a team which goes by the names of Liverpool on a record Barcelona transfer fee of £146 million. He came in, he flopped at Barcelona. He was loaned to Bayern Munich. In Bayern Munich, he won a treble, the German Cup, the Bundesliga, and the Champions League. That is Felipe Coutinho in there for you. You remember that year when Bayern Munich came up and beat a side which goes by the names of by the names of PSG that led to the sacking of Thomas Tuchel in there. So Coutinho has been has been really having a very hard time, and him focusing to play to the World Cup has really led to all this has led to all this because Coutinho feels like Xavi has told him you are not in my plans and Coutinho is looking for a favorite team where is really going to go in and play because the World Cup is starting off on is it the 18th of November that's when it's starting off in there so 18th of November this year he still has the entire five months that is January February April March and May then he has October he has August September October those three months in total he has eight months to get his career back to where it is and he will be called up for the Brazilian national team because he faced the competition in there from players like Martinelli Martinelli is playing well at Arsenal and we're not playing well at Arsenal at that age trust me if Rafinha who is playing well at Leeds got a call up in there then why would Martinelli got a, get a call up in the senior national team after being part of the Brazilian national team that the under 23 team that won the Olympics in there for you so that really causes more pressure to continue and continue says I really want to go in and play football in there I want to go to a team that's really going to allow me play football in there and you look at Arsenal when Coutinho comes in I think he can get places to play because Coutinho dislikes to be played as a left or right attacking midfielder. Coutinho likes to be played into the central attacking midfielder. He likes to play into the central axis and that's where Martin Odegaard is playing and that is the best player of Arsenal right about now. And I'm asking myself, can this be a point that is really going to lead to Coutinho to say, no, I'm not joining a team which goes by names of Arsenal? Because that is also crucial in there. Because other teams that really want him, like Newcastle, that can really even pay him heavier wages, are really, really, are really, really, really short into that place in there. So I'm asking you guys who are really watching the Rokani Football Podcast, do you think this can be a point that is really going to make or stop this transfer of Felipe Coutinho to come in at Arsenal? That and more in here on the Rokani Football Podcast. But just know, this weekend, Coutinho is expected to get a Premier League team to sign him. Is it going to be Arsenal? Is it going to be Newcastle? Is it going to be Tottenham Hotspur? Is it going to be Aston Villa? I don't know, but news is linking him at Arsenal most because Arsenal is having a player that Xavi has put on his ladder ever since he joined Barcelona as the permanent coach in there. And that player goes by the name of Pierre Kumerik Aubameyang. And the constant is Pierre Kumerik Aubameyang is out of Mikel Ateta's plans. Mikel Ateta wants him out. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't even think of it that Pierre Merrick Aubameyang will one day come up and say that I'm turning down a chance for Coutinho to come in and 
turning a chance to go in and play for Barcelona. That is Aubameyang. And I really feel like he wants to play for teams like Barcelona because apart from him being paid a lot of money at Arsenal and delivering nothing, he thinks that when I go to Barcelona and bang in goals, I'm really going to shame the manager Ateta that he was the one who never knew how to play me. Now I'm at a club that they are playing me the way I'm supposed to be played in there and I really get into that level of scoring goals in there. Because we look at Barcelona and how they play, they are lacking a player like Aubameyang. They create chances, but they don't execute them. And Aubameyang, if he is really motivated and with the players around him at Barcelona, I think you'll know that I'm having classic players that are really better than me and I'm really supposed to deliver for a team which goes by the names of Barcelona. So your reaction to this story, continue to ask no happening this weekend. I welcome you to the comment section below. I go by the names of Rokan David, aka RD. You can search for me, Rokan Football Podcast, Rokan David, anywhere on different social medias, Instagram. Follow me back, I'll follow you back. Tweet to me on Twitter at it's Rokan David. That's my Twitter handle and I'll really get back to you in there and we, co we continue with the conversation. I'm out for now. See you Latest.